two or three years ago. So we can keep excavating this um, long part of our trench. And so then we found a rectangular uh, space that was better compass because probably all the parts of this uh, building were destroyed on occasion by later, later piece, uh, most of the Hellenistic in days, as well as the uh, Byzantine uh, or anyhow uh, post Hellenistic periods. So the area of the truncated and then we exposed it and then we realized that it's a very interesting feature. And then we had a one installation in the northern part of the of the uh, space. There was a uh cranny. Because when you look at what we found in this space, not only this special installation, but also other things that they were playing with the same elements in I would say the chat like the uh, material material worlds. However, a meaning of a number of these elements uh, basically did not remember the original meaning of these elements. And they probably mixed up some elements they have never, they have been, never ever, never ever uh, used together in the, let's say, the classical period of Chattel Hoyu. So for example, to bury a dead on the floor, it was impossible situation in level 4, 5 or 6. We got it well an excavator actually. And this we have a situation where actually some human remains, the humans were buried on the floor. And then this is, I can tell that, that this remains were plastered, were sealed off to a very deliberate act to place a dead person in, in the house and then to leave with a dead person. That is how the Chagan really looked like before that. And they remembered that it is not. That, it should, that the people should be buried in the house, but maybe they didn't want to leave with the buried people anymore, the dead people anymore. Okay, so just use this, this place as a, as a living um, uh, room of some sort, and then it was reused as a burial chamber later on. The same space being reused and sealed off, and was not used for any sort of purposes anymore, except for, this, for the burial uh, purposes. And, the same with, with the bow and, and the women, and the women, that it has never happened before that the Ukrainian bows were associated with any skeleton, male or female. You know, we had, a, for example, these installations, the bullies, the Hong Kong installations, Above the floor, on the benches, and on the on the walls, and at the same under the platform, there were there were people, you know, that people buried. And in here you have a combination, you know, that both elements are being used, and you just put them together, and it's very unusual context. And so, so it is how I would like to look at this very peculiar situation. And secondly, I don't believe that. That we can talk about the Neolithic. Um, I argue that we had some sort of uh, arbitrary and coherent set of belief, whether it's matriarchal or patriarchal, or any other sort of belief that is very coherent, you know, that I mean that people understand what they're doing. So it was more seeing and buried in, a, in the everyday life rather than some sort of religion as as to well as. Suggestions. So we're not going to excavate it this year, really, because we don't have time. But next year, we have to go down and see whether there is some sort of floor or not. But actually, we're at the level of this floor, so we expect you to get a floor actually right, right here. But it's it's not. So it's maybe a further yeah. deep, maybe it's a deeper space or something. But I believe it must be some sort of space. Or